why narcissists talk the way they do, and how respond effectively. In consultations, therapy, counseling, or any other setting where two people speak with the goal of helping each other, I have a trick to teach you. The key is to pay attention to the motivations behind people's words rather than what they actually say. Much more important than the overt, explicit substance is the reason or intention behind the speech act or communication. Philosophy and therapeutic theory devote a great deal of attention to what we call the hidden text technique. Talking to a narcissist is a prime example of why this rule is so important. This is due to the fact that narcissists are incapable of genuine communication. Whatever they say is an act. Disregard what a narcissist says whenever they speak to you. Think about it. Why is he making this statement? Her word choice is puzzling. The open text, the obvious communication, what's behind it? The narcissist will not engage in conversation unless they are trying to achieve something specific. They share the trait of being goal-oriented with psychopaths. Even if narcissists avoid communicating with you whenever possible when they do, it's with an air of condescension and patronization. To achieve their objectives, they engage in conversation with you. If you want to know why he's saying this, these objectives will tell you. What was the reasoning behind her choice of expression? First of all, the narcissist isn't interested in connecting with you or listening to you. They're just trying to show you how impressive they are. They are completely unconcerned and uninterested. You are not a person to them, rather, you are merely something external. The narcissist, on the other hand, is attempting to win you over so that they can use you as a prop for their own egotism, as a romantic partner in a fantasy they both share, or as a trusted friend they can exploit. Because narcissism values outward appearances more than inside qualities, managing one's impression is essential in this disorder. 2. Confabulation is a factor. Narcissists struggle with memory gaps and a fragmented sense of self, leading them to confabulate stories to bridge these gaps and maintain a continuous narrative. These fabricated accounts filled with may-have or could-have scenarios are eventually believed by the narcissists themselves, reinforcing their self-perception as infallible or godlike. This self-deception serves to justify their actions and preserve their false sense of self. Thus, when communicating with narcissists, it is important to understand that their actions and explanations are attempts to convey a coherent self-image despite their underlying memory inconsistencies. The narcissist's grandiosity and slash or shared imagination are the third motivations. When interacting with you, narcissists rely on communication. Instead of talking to you, they speak at you. Their purpose is to impart knowledge, not to listen. This is all an effort on their part to support and reinforce their inflated sense of self by reinforcing their idealized self-image. In an effort to deify the narcissist, the speech is framed in a way that glorifies them. Additionally, it is meant to implant in you the assumption that the narcissist's inflated self-esteem is genuine, that the shared fantasy is real, and that the narcissist's inflated statements are in reality factual. Manipulation is the resultant cause number four. The manipulation of language is a common tactic among psychopaths and narcissists who want to control your actions and decisions so they can get what they want, whether that's sex, money, power, or narcissistic supply. It's starting to sink in that narcissists' communication is completely different from how healthy, average people express themselves. It's a weapon that narcissists use to control your perceptions, make up stories to prop up their inflated sense of self-worth, get you to join in on their shared fantasy, and control you until you conform to their idealized version of you. What matters is not what the narcissist says, but rather why they say it. Are they trying to control, deceive, confabulate, or impress you? Observe how they use language, express themselves, and present information to influence you. Narcissists often subconsciously spread their manipulative ways, employing clever and deliberate tactics similar to psychopaths. Neuroscience studies reveal that both narcissists and entrainers use language extensively, with narcissists potentially brainwashing and entraining you by aligning your brainwaves with theirs. This can create a hypnotic trance through repetitive phrases. It's crucial to pay attention to their specialized word and content choices, as the intent behind their communication is key.